Steve a Harja Ta Falteroy Gudian Tullach a Gunten Clor um is Mr. Sean Gavin Tommy Biorish Umhranona uh Law Bra Ari Gatown Tasha Gehiven or Fad Argus Tasula Gum Gwich of a down the slauncha um uh Tom Fear Gaffa Free Lawer Le Cursi Scullia Augus uh a Muna Erlina Argus um yeah it's bad of me to show Guma uh just and Cade Rods just for Quinta um Marskinok and Will uh Gakrod a Gobra uh Mar Bakarts just show you stock take send me the text can you hear me okay is everything working can you hear the voice um we'll just check uh here the text as well I'll just send a quick message and make sure that it's all working okay um so Air Madden we're going to take a look at some of the basics with grammar now you may be thinking i am a h1 student i got 92 percent of my mock everything is fine um but it may not be as good as you think guys that's great to hear uh you may not have your basic grammar as good as you think it is and i can assure you i'm going to go through a lesson today that will hopefully change uh, for a lot of people, the way that they see this kind of information, um, because there is, or there are, a couple of little shortcuts that make a huge difference. And it's funny, you know, in an Irish class, you don't tend to, with, uh, you know, fifth year, sixth year, you don't tend to go through all of the basics on a regular basis. This is part of the problem we have around crinus accuracy. So, in your Chofadus is Fader, Boalam Gul Tridne, Nakin is Tavati, the most important things that if they're wrong, you're not getting a H1 on a written paper. It's not going to happen for you. So, you've got to actually review this. And that's why I'm bringing it up today. Without getting this stuff sorted, you're not getting a H1. So, anyone who's there thinking, oh, I'm a H1 candidate, I can assure you if your general writing, and your vocabulary, sorry, your, your grammar, particularly Brihra, which is predominantly what we're looking at today. Uh, but I have some lovely tips and tricks at the end as well. Um, if you don't get this right, you're, you're, you're bush, you're goose. So, Shinne, I will any Is there any question that anyone has before I get going here? Because I'm going to be rattling through this. I have a lot to get through. Uh, you know, ni veg more on ama gwen e gondera. So ma ta in keshnu gwen shogi shtaki tree than takes a ga bun on lahnik ma ta iPhone a got no iPad is fitter lat e the hilder shtach. Agus do shoot nak revel or river show. If you weren't here before, you can get all the notes for this in. If you click on the link below the courses that are that leaves are dash dot com. That's where our premium subscribers are, and uh, there's a free section there as well that I'll be putting stuff into, but the uh, the main notes that accompany all these lessons and more, there's more than just what's in these lessons, uh, is in the premium section. And uh, as the weeks go on, that premium section will get more laden with stuff that's not covered in these classes because that's just the way the revision course uh, is going to work this year. So, ma ta'in keshtagwif, shokhi shtakid, agus is fairlom i da lav shal irre a khafta. So, Air Deucer Man. Now, you're going to be busy, guys, with the text, putting in a few bits and pieces here. If you're on a computer, it might be a little bit more comfortable than on an iPhone. Uh, but uh, try to engage with this as much as possible because this is important um, that we get through it. So, the basics. Now, Ruddy is Banusi Aveg Ayena Gwen. Anime Rag Leshen Gyachtanish. So, on Cade Rods. Brihra. Brihra Realta. On Cade Rame Nu. On Dara Rame Nu. Cadis bri le an hade leshen gade rem new. Does anyone want to type in what does the an hade rem new? I nearly said it what it meant. An hade rem new. Cadis bri leshen gade rem new. Anyone want to type in what that is and let me know. Um, an dar rem new. Marangena. Cadis bri leshen dar rem new. Do you know? Could you explain it? Um, or will to announce ishi na yenu. Um, beish of a drug load. So, brira. Verbs. Everyone know what verbs are, uh, or should know what verbs are. So, Gwega being brief or real to Gwen, we've regular verbs, okay? Uh, we've uh, regular verbs, brief or real to, August being brief or nav real to Gwen. Okay, uh, Im is a question, I'll do this first. Um, 
This isn't really related to the grammar section saying, but would you advise against doing a scale instead of an ash? Because my teacher said it's very difficult to get about 70, uh, very difficult to get 70 or 75 out of 100. Uh, in the scale, right? Uh, I, I got to be honest with you, Eamon, I tend to advise people stay away from scale. There's a tendency for people who maybe did honours or level up to let's say, uh, or level three or blaine or something like that, there's a tendency to do uh, a scale because people learned off the timpish to scale and they think it's going to work for them. I would say the scale for leaving cert, it's got to be crohoch, it's got to be creative. And if you haven't got that ability, that flair, just stay away from it, is my advice to everybody. Okay, now, so a lot of people uh, are thinking, what is on Cade Ramnew? And I bet you most people are avoiding typing this in because uh, we're thinking, oh, I don't know that and I don't want to expose myself in this class. All right. Uh, most people simply don't know what this means. A remnu is a conjugation, right? So the first and second conjugation is what we're talking about. Conjugation, if you're studying biology, uh, you will have come across conjugation, I'm sure, many times. So conjugation, guys, means where something uh, is brought together. So in Irish, very simply, we have the first and the second conjugation. And they are related to brihra uh, rilta. Okay? Now, you might be saying, why is this all important? You, you'll see pretty quickly why this is important, because if you don't know it, uh, it's an issue. So let's crack on here to what we need to do. So brihra verbs... Brihra realta, regular verbs, and Cade Ramnu is the first conjugation, Dar Ramnu is second conjugation. In terms of terminology, you now have what you need. Okay, na Brihra realta, does anybody want to have a shot at this? Um, I don't have any, you know, Mars bars or prizes or, you know, lucky bags that I can throw out here to people. Um, but what are na Brihra na realta? Is anybody able to say what na Brihra na realta are? Could you list them? Because basically, if you couldn't type them in in 15 or 20 seconds, um, you don't know them. And I'm going to teach you something that you'll know them forevermore. I have students I taught years ago that I, I might meet socially or might meet in the street. And, uh, you know, very often they, they rattle off. Uh, one of the first things to do is they rattle off the Brihra and Avrilta to me. Or said, you know, I still remember the briefer and I've read the what you taught me. So I'm going to teach you something here in a moment uh, that's going to be, uh, will hopefully stick with you forever. Okay, yeah, briefer and I've read are regular verbs. All right, we've got a few there. Be, take, bear, feck. Good, keep going. Have we got a few more? Um, let's just see. Yeah. What are the briefer and I've is the question though, guys. What have we got? Um, there's a few more coming in here in the text. So, by the way, for anyone who's not aware of it, uh, we're taking a look at the the chat function. Um, we've got people typing in uh, the various different Briher uh, Navrilta as I speak. So, you know, it's something that catches people out. Uh, you might be able to name a few of them for sure, but could you actually rattle them off? That's really the question here. So we're getting there. Um, you're doing good, guys. We are getting there. But what we've got to do is progress it. So here's what I want you to write down. Biff Tat CD. B-I-F-F-T-A-T-T-C-D. Biff Tat CD. Um, and this is a crazy kind of an acronym uh, that I put together. Sechaid Vlian. I hate Vlian V Megmuna. Uh so Sheila's gone with B bear if fact five clutch the entire. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good there now, Sheila. You're you're on the on the right track. Um this is something I put together. It's an acronym. Make sure you write this down now, top of the page, if that C D. What we're gonna do is we're gonna solve your verb issues forevermore, hopefully, uh, in this lesson, right? The the basic fundamental understanding. And what this is about, guys, just so we're clear, and what the tall yen is going now, store this lehna a vunlu lesh na right? 
so to so to broaden your vocabulary to to kind of form a new vocabulary because all of a sudden all of the verbs are going to become accessible to you and you'll be using verbs in your writing that you've never even dared look at so this is a very 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 important lesson all right if that cd very simply it is ber e feig feig tur upper tarte klostein, and I have a star on b, which is ta in most of your language. Ta is the verb that you're talking about. I have a star on that to the side. It is one of Nabrita and Navrilta, but it's not in Biftat CD. Biftat CD is my little creation to make you remember them. Ta is an irregular verb, and a moment we're going to go through something. I reached a ta on a vunusach, but is absolutely essential. So. You need to be able to say it that fast. If you're even remotely unsure, I have races with kids in class. There was a guy a couple of years ago, a guy called David, and he managed to do it in 1.58 seconds. It was ridiculous. Um, but, you know, it's a bit of fun. But crucially, there's a very serious point behind this. So here's the bit you probably need to know right now. If you know the breeder and Navrilta, the irregular verbs asquega, berify factor over tarte clostein, if you know them like that, these are the roots of those verbs. When it comes to using any other verb in the language, all of the other verbs follow a set pattern. I'm going to show you that pattern. But most importantly, once you know something isn't berify factor over tarte clostein, you are able to then successfully apply it in your writing without thinking twice about it. Obviously, if you want to use one of the Brita and Navrilta, you are going to have to use uh, what those are. But I have good news for you. I also have a quick way of solving that issue. So let's crack on to it. Let's uh, take a look at it. So there is a concept, uh, very simple, that's in every language, uh, a personal pronoun, a furanum uh, parsenta, right? We're going to take a look at on breeder ta no b, whichever you want to refer to it as. Okay, so very simply up here at the top of this, you can see we've got ta is the root. Now just think of ta as any other verb, any other verb in the language at all. This could be any verb whatsoever. So I have a simple idea for you here. Down here in the left hand side, you'll see we've got me, to, she. She, shin, shiv, and she, and I've put a number with each personal pronoun for an parsenta on the left hand side. And Dave So, over here, then you'll see that to say I was, I'm Shukacha, past tense, you say V me. Then it's V2, V she, V she, V amur, V shiv, V she it. Something very noticeable here. Is that in every single one of these columns, or sorry, in every one of these rows, right? Number five, for we in Irish, you always have a conjugated version. So there's two parts to it, but it's brought together, right? Now, there's another place that we have that, and that's up here. So anywhere you can see that asterisk, you can see that we are we have a conjoined or conjugated form of the verb in those four scenarios. Present tense of the verb for me, and just very simply where you're saying we in Irish, it's always a conjugated version. You never say like via shin, ta mid shin, be mid shin, right? Now people do say ta me, right? And that's okay because it's a colloquial term, but the grammatically correct version is always time, uh, usadam, etc. So here's what you wanna see guys, right? The pattern. Basically, V me is the first one. The second one is V2. Third one, V she, V she, V shiv, V shid. In essence, in order to know the pattern, you only need to learn verb number one and five in the past tense of any verb, of any verb, but particularly Nabriha Navrilta. We'll come to that in a second, why Nabriha Navrilta. Here you can see it's time, but then it's ta tu, ta she, ta she, ta shiv, ta she. All the rest of them are the same as number two, right? And then finally, we've got the same pattern as I'm Shukacha here. It's beg me, beg tu, beg she, beg she, 
sorry, Big Shiv, Big Shiv, Big Meads, Big Shiv, Big Shiv. So the pattern is one plus two plus five here. You learn me, you learn two, you learn Shin, and the same over here for I'm Shikacha and I'm Shoshnok, you learn one and five. So what it is, guys, it's a pattern. It's a mathematical formula. If you know what you, um, uh, <laughs> many senior infants, if you know what the formula is, you're able to apply it. And it's a very simple pattern that you've got to understand. So what is the really essential thing to get out of this? The essential thing is, if you know up here that for the past tense, you need to know two verbs of the breather and avril that we're talking about now. For the present tense, you need to know three verbs. And for the I'm Shoshuk, you need to know two. In actual fact, after that, you don't need to worry about the one, two, and five because the, the rules for regular verbs, breather and apply irrespective. Um, they stick across the board. They're universal. The breather and avril is where our problem is. So let's take a look here now, guys, and a little bit of work to do. The verb we're going to look at is fig. It means to get. And what I want you to do right now on a sheet, if you could, is to write down what would go in here for me. Sorry. What would go in here for me? What would go in here for shin? What would go in here for me in the present tense? What would go in here for two? What would go for shin? And I'm sure, Schnuck, uh, what would be me and shin are reached. So could you type in really quickly what you see is the seven words that should go in there right so we have seven gaps right and you should be sorry uh, seven gaps and we should be able to write in what these answers are really quickly now if you're a h1 student and you may well be if you can't do this in 20 seconds you need to stay on this for the next half an hour and understand what is going on because if it's not like water off a duck's back to you, if this stuff is not just so natural, you are in trouble with this. If you're looking for the best marks, you are in trouble with this because it's got to be perfect. All right. So rattle off one after another, you know, we're using commas, maybe uh, what the answer is here. If you don't know what these answers are, don't fear, don't worry. Don't fret. Uh, you may not want to put anything into the text here. And I can understand why. Um, but if we bring up the chat here, uh, we have uh, some answers in so far. Uh, so I'll just leave the chat window open now with the uh, slides for the next little while. So uh, Sheila, you are flying it there. Yeah, one small spelling error there in the yoga, I'd say that's a typo though, but uh, yeah, okay, so Sheila, you know them, right? Uh, Sheila very quickly has rattled them off there, and you clearly know this, which is great, right? Um, so Fred, excellent, good. So we have a few people who know this, are able to rattle them off quickly, and that's great, right? So let's, let's now look at what the answers should have been there, okay? So you can see... Uh, Ervor and Lachnig and Shaw, four, so it'd be four May, four two, four she, four shiv, four amar, uh, fiam, fiam two, fiam she, uh, fiam she, fiam me, very good, fiam shiv, fiam shid, and then yoig me, uh, yoig two, etc. Down long and yoig me. So a uh, few people have put them in, all right? Uh, okay, now, good question, Tara. It's uh, again, that's uh, King Continual to Tara. I'm assuming uh, somewhere in Connemara, uh, if we're using the wits, uh, but not necessarily an issue. You just got to be careful with it because uh, accuracy becomes an issue, and I think, or sorry, consistency becomes an issue. So mark down for it, no, provided it's consistent and it's accurate. Um, but I personally think you should go with the standardized version um if you're in a cora maybe you know um it depends it really depends there's personal styles and i don't want to tell you to do something your teacher uh would prefer you to to do you know so that that's my response to that um so let's look at another one guys let's take another one right so five is i think a relatively easy one 
Uh, let's go tar. Let's see, can we get uh, the answers in for tar? How quickly could you write them down? So if you don't want to submit in the text, write them down, please, and test yourself because you need to actually, you know, kind of acknowledge the issue here. And I know the issue is there. Yeah, so um, it, it, it really is a personal preference, Tara, yeah. I'll go, with, I'll go with what your teacher says, but you can also go with my version because your teacher's not going to see that in the written exam, you know. But uh, whatever you find easiest, whatever you find the easiest to apply is what you'll go with, I think. Okay, so what we're looking for here is tar. The verb is tar to cup, right? So what should be coming in each of these uh, boxes? Right, seven. If you can't rattle them off in less than 20 seconds here, uh, you don't know them. And that's the bottom line. Um, now you've been learning these since you were in primary school and gone doubt a bit for some people. Yeah, this is very simplistic. But what I hope to do in a minute is I get off of this, show you what you need to know, and then show you what is a more a much bigger issue because some of the best verbs right on darrem new you guys are not using and that is an issue because you're avoiding it you're staining the comfort zone so i'm going to show you how we get out of this comfort zone uh, and what we have to do to move forward okay so a couple of people rattle them off very good tag me chucky chuck me tag them tag them too yeah okay so we have a few people able to rattle them off which is great and Let's just see very quickly. You can see what the answers are there. Uh, and we've got a couple of people that have it perfect. So well done. Ma Shiv. Now, now do we have that? Does everyone understand what I'm trying to do here? I'm just trying to go back to the real basics before I go on to something. Uh, so uh, excellent. So we're able to get these and that's, that's good. Now, here are all of the verbs. And you can screenshot them or do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but here are all the verbs that you need to know for each of the Brihra Navrilta. Now, what did I give you earlier? Ber e feig tour. And then we've got aber tar te clostein. You will see that according to the pattern, we only need to know if we're uh, or shocking, right? We need to know seven, right? That's all we need to know for each one of these. So there you have them, there's the exact verbs, they're all the different verbs that exist in the Brihra Navrilta. And if you do your maths here very quickly, you'll see that for each one of these, there's seven. If I've 10 in Bif that CD, that means I've got 70. If I add in Ta, which we saw the full chart of, that's 77. So the maths of this are very simple, guys. Brihra Navrilta, you normally have something around the 231 verbs to learn off. You know, if you go to your book, you're going V me, V2, V she, V she, V she, V, V M R, V she, V she. If you're going with anything like that, it's going to drive you cracked. Uh, I'd love to hear some experiences people have in the chat on, you know, things that you did or things you found about learning verbs. Were you able to learn them? Um, and by the way, that, you know, is this something that, that resonates with people? I'd love to hear your comments about verbs because uh, generally any time I do a class like this, people are, are just giving out about them left, right and centre, can never get a handle on them. But I know now the next bit I'm going on to, and I guarantee you there are people out there who are H1 candidates who are going to look at this and go, oh yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I know people are avoiding this issue because it's uncomfortable, you know, and, and it's uncomfortable because you had experiences way back, way, way back, learning verbs, uh, and you can share them here in the chat on what they are. So um, here's what you got to do. Very simply, 231 verbs. I've condensed it into 77 for you. That means you have 154 less to think about. But more than anything else, you know, ta, ta, bala, ha, guiv, anish, ta, ta, kina, chorus, guiv, kun, an, rud, sha, a yausu to improve this issue, right? So, how many Brihar Rilta could you write in 20 seconds, right? Uh, Brihar Ser, yes, I'm coming to the Brihar Ser, Chloe, good question. We're coming to that as part of this lesson. It's a huge part of it. Again, what we wanted to try and do is get away from V2, Vishay, Tome, Neil, this, that, and the other. 
I'm actually asking you to write down the verbs in 20 seconds, but I'm wondering how many could you write down really quickly if you were asked to do it. All right, so uh, here's a regular verb. And all this chart is doing is showing you that the same pattern, glan is not at one of the Breher and Navrilta, but the very same pattern that exists for the Breher and Navrilta exists for the Breher Rilta, whether it's on Cade Reimnu and Dara Reimnu, um, the very same pattern exists, right? So you do not have to change the pattern. That's the crucial thing here. Every single one of these exists in the very same way, the same structure, glan me, glan tu, glan she, glan she, glan amur, glan shiv, glan shid, they're all the same as number one. So the pattern is the same irrespective. That's the beauty of going through ta and the breeder and never the first because the pattern is established. Now, on potun, let's look at this. On heid reim nu, the first conjugation. Now these are relatively simple verbs. I would say every one of you would agree these are relatively simple verbs. You know, brish, brun, cred, deal, doom, fog, foss, etc. Now, can anyone tell me what, what about them is noticeable? Is there anything noticeable about them? Is there anything that you can say about first conjugation verbs? A lot of people earlier on were putting in terminology uh, concerning, you know, uh, ain't shula, shula, stuff like that. And that actually is the answer here. Uh, these are uh, single syllable verbs. Um, and they are reasonably well known. So things like cred, to believe, doom, to close, all, to drink, pog, etc. You would know these quite well. Okay, so they are things that you should know. Now, this is where it gets tricky. On Dara Remnu, Essentially, they are two syllables. There's two syllables involved. So what? how does that look? So let me just break that down for you, right? Why is it two syllables? Well, if you take something that you all know, which would be canig, very simply, if we go in, we've got can ig, okay? Banig, to bless, ban ig. Uh, bag ir, to threaten, okay? So there's two distinct syllables in these and the next bit I suppose is where the magic sauce is why are these such a problem why do people avoid them all day long every day and the killer is the pattern of the 105 1025 105 we've established the pattern on Potrun Shin Ibrin for all of these verbs the pattern remains the same but the ending changes. Now, right now, I don't really want to get too much into this. Uh, I don't want to confuse it too much for you. But basically, I've simplified this in one screen today. There is a term, Australia, it's known as quimru, which is called syncopation. Now, basically, syncopation involves the removal of vowels, uh, the shortening of a verb. So the vowels in the AIRs they get removed are the A and the I. In the ILs, INs, etc., you just remove the I. Now, what that means then is your verb, your root essentially has changed to something that's shortened. But crucially, the last syllable in bogger previously. If you looked at it, the last syllable was I, but the, sorry, the last vowel, Tobroner, the last vowel in Bogger was I, but now the last vowel in Bogger is A. And that has a very fundamental effect on the way that you're going to use that verb. The last vowel in Etel was originally I here. It's still I as it happens. And what that means is one has become lahan in terms of its vowel ending and another is quail it remains as slender now quail quail lahan lahan i'm assuming at this level that you have some understanding of quail quail lahan lahan if i need to do a lesson or show you a lesson that i can do it and i'm happy to share out a link to that but syncopation is such an important concept to understand 
because if you don't understand it, you simply won't have these verbs correct. So let me just give you a straight example of how this normally looks. If you didn't know it, right, you might write down something like this. Bagarian she na corsa. He threatens the neighbours, right? Is that right? No, absolutely not right. Totally incorrect. It should be written as Bagrian she na corsa, right? And that would be the correct version. So anybody who doesn't know this and is trying to use broader range of verbs is totally caught. And this is why we've got to know this lesson. We've got to work on this. All right. OK, so what I've done here is uh, sorry, the one H there isn't appearing the way it should do. Um, what I've done is I've shown you how they go from the past tense to the present tense to the future tense. So an I'm Shakacha, I'm Shalahok, I'm Shalashnok. So let's pretend we're just doing all of these as you know she, right? So past tense, vagar she, all you do is put the H on the root of the verb. Then you syncopate it for the I'm Shakat I'm Shalahok and I'm Shalashnok. So now it's Bagrian she and in the future it's Bagroig she. Now what has changed is the endings. In the I'm Shalahok are Ian's and I thought of O-N-N and in the future tense they're E-O-I-D-H or O for the I-D-H depending on is a quail or lahan the ending that you need. If it's lahan in the Aintra Lohruk you need the A ending. If it's quail you need the I and in the future if it's quail you need the E and if it's lahan you need the O. All right. I'm assuming that we know quail or quail, lahan, lahan and all of this because if you don't well, then you're really bush because that, that, that just makes no sense to you. So you've got to got to know that. So like he threatens Bagri and She. Uh, she will refuse dual toig she. Uh, so he threatens, uh, sorry, he threatens, uh, she will refuse dual toig she. Uh, they will fly. Et's loig sheeds. Sokrian sheeds. They arrange or organize. Yultig uh, she. He uh, refused. Uh, can he and she, they buy. Uh, can I may, I will buy. So once you get this syncopation idea, you're able to move over and back between the different I'm Shri, Koshkyopi, August, as fast as you can without any different differences. Sokroi uh, Shashahu, we were going through on trail in Ye, and uh, this will sort you out. You may never have even thought about that verb before. Sokroi Shashahu. But now, all of a sudden, that has a whole new meaning or comes across in a whole new light. So what you do now is apply this. You want to take these verbs and you want to apply them. Now I've got some very different exercises that can be done at, on this uh, and I'll try and engage you in this in a live um, flashcard exercise at some point over the next few days. So what very, very quickly in summary, if you know the pattern, if you know the pattern that we've established for any regular verb, or if we go back to our original pattern, which I'm just moving back to here very quickly, if we go back to our original pattern here on fig and tar, etc., etc., you will be able to use these verbs. You've got the full list of irregular verbs there now, so there should be no issue. And you should also be able to understand that with Breher Real that they just follow the standard patterns in the Cade Ramnu and the Dar Ramnu in terms of endings, but you just need to learn a certain number of verbs. Once you understand the concept of Quimru, which is syncopation, you should be able to tackle new verbs for the first time. Okay, uh, will you show a Karulif? Is this helping you? I hope it's making sense. Uh, I'm trying to get through as fast as I can. Normally I do this over a series of classes, but we just don't have the time for that. Um, I, I'm trying to give you the essence of it. Uh, so would you show a carol live? Is this helping you? Just let me know. Is it making sense? Is it is it making uh, things clear for you in a way that you wouldn't have seen before? Uh, etc. etc. All right. Um, so there's two more things I want to take a look at here. Um, there are I decide to pick six issues that people are having. And 
to try and I suppose highlight where the the most common errors that I see um, to see what it is that you can do to improve your credit right so I've, I've selected six um, and savory here is the free verb or the in-person verb whatever you want to call it so what people tend to do is they tend to overuse she or may or she right people tend to overuse these when they want to say it right they'd say things like uh uh corse a so fork you know he put it in the field right when in actual fact the way that should be written is corse it was put in, in the field right so if we take for example a phrase that you may end up using um, around, let's say, on coronavirus, right? And you want to say it was, uh, it was ended, it was postponed. People will end up writing, unless they know the server here, they will end up writing things like Kurshid stop lesh, they stopped it. Instead of saying Kuruk Erkale, it was uh, postponed right so i have a very simple trick for you if you write it down and i refer to this in class as ug tarafarfi ug tarafarfi if you can remember that idea you'll never get the free verb wrong ever again and here's the other little bit you'll good chance you'll get a, a mark in your keshe a salev hishkent as well because and uh, this is uh, also asked very commonly uh against the free or something the free verb so uh, I use UG, but in actual fact, the, 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 the terms are ADH. If you're in Donegal, it's like U, Kuru, right? But uh, Fogu or Fogu, uh, Kurug, etc. The endings are ADHs, EADHs, right? For the past tense. Present tense, they're t TARS, Fogter, Kurter. Uh, fur is Fog fur, future tense. And. Um, Fee is the Mokanilic bit. Now, the Mokanilic one is important to remember because you actually use the same structure at the start of the word as you'd use in the Mokanilic. In other words, Shevu Mos Feder, Shevu if possible, so if you have Kur, you put in the H, and uh, in the case of an F or a vowel, you're looking to use your D apostrophe, right? So I'm going to throw one out here, guys. The idea is these are the endings, and by the way, there's slender endings as well. So if you see, you've got T-E-A-R, you've got F-E-A-R, and you've also got F-I fada, right? So you have slender endings and broad endings. You have A-D-H and E-D-H, E-A-D-H, you see them there already. Um, so throw one out here. Let's see, can anyone in the class give me uh, something like, like uh, it would be opened, right? If we're talking about, you know, coronavirus and something might be opened at some point. It would be opened. What is... It would be opened. Asquilga. What would we say? Uh, so in the chat, it would be opened, just so we're clear. Not it will be opened. It would be opened. What are we going with there? It would be open. What do you think it is? Um, what would you say if you were put in that situation? Now that I've explained it at a very, very surface level, um, it would be opened. I'm sure somebody... We get this pretty quickly. And uh, let's just bring up the chat and see who's the first one up with this. Um uh Gosa Gormaga Gormagriv Galera Asna Chatruk the Egg Sula Rehi Kaktashot Tusha Gahivan or Fad Gulchabigiri uh and Rodshaw Love Shaw uh Hohoskal to Satoshiv. It's great to see this kind of openness that people are happy to share uh um pay olus pay olus at all. So it would be opened. How would you say that, Asquega? And Dos Glofi, very good, excellent. Okay, and the the one little bit there that you want to stick in at the end of it is a. So Dos Glofi a Mahu. Um, okay, Anwa Fad. It would be open. Anwa Dos Dos Glofi. Yeah, we're very close. 
Excellent. It's good to see. Now, um, what a lot of you... I didn't bring up the Mocha Neelock thing here today. We'll leave that for another day. Um, but the Mocha Neelock thing as well, I, I want to address because it is causing problems for people all the time. I'm always getting emails about it. So I'd like to take a look at that if I could. So that's the savory here, guys. It's a very simple idea. Um, but if you remember Uktar Farfi, right? That's the one I teach my own students exactly like this. Uktar Farfi. Remember that and you'll be able to use it forever. Okay. Now, Uru. You probably never heard that it actually means what's called eclipsis. A shevu, you know, a H means lenition, but that's all technical stuff you don't need to worry about. Um, the Uru's, Asquega. Amazing how people don't know this and why or how or where you use it. Uh, but let's keep it simple for today. If you think of Eron, Asan, Eron, Asan, Leshan, Quigon, any of those, right? Yeah, I don't know what the hell is doing there. Leshan, Quigon, etc. Okay, any of those things. Um, you need to have, when you use on after them, you need to have an Uru. So Eron, Mor, Leshan, Gat, Egan, Vinog, etc. It's the simplest thing in the world, but my God, huge numbers of people just do not do it and do not do it accurately. So that's a simpler idea, something that you can all work on. Now, here's possibly one of the number one mistakes that I see. Um, it's right up there, cupola. In English, we say, for example, uh, we'd say a couple of days, right? In English, it's a couple of days, right? God, that writing's terrible, um, but a couple of days anyway. Uh, in Irish, we say a couple of day, literally no S. So I'm gonna get rid of that because that's pretty horrific writing, guys. It's as bad as I've produced in a week or two. Uh, bottom line is, you'd say, Vishal on the fact couple of law, right? He was there for a couple of days. You don't say, Vishan of Akupla Lehenta or something like that. Uh, when you're thinking of this, try to think of the phrases you do know. Vimam Kupla Shachtenohin. I was there a couple of weeks ago. You don't say Kupla Shachtani. So, always followed by Iver Uha. Iver Uha, by the way, is singular in case you don't know. Iver Ulra is plural. Always followed by Iver Uha. Kupla Shachten. Uh, the Kupla Dinas There was a couple of people in the house. And this is a lesson you would have covered as part of, uh, hopefully as part of your Shra Piktor, uh, the rather infamous, now no longer there, Shra Piktor for uh, on Vlian Shah. Rain Kui. Kupla Dinna, Kupla Lar, Kupla Shachtan, Kupla Shachtan Ohin is a phrase you all should know. Kupla Rud. Vi Kupla Rud Ayena Gomez doing a couple of things. Beg Shah Nafa Kupla Ur. He'll be there for a couple of hours. So, Kupla, singular, that's a great trick, great one to know. Okay, uh, now the other day we briefly looked at some of this. Um, and tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to try and crack the nut of Antisha Ginnuk. I'm going to try in 30, 40 minutes tomorrow to, to, to sort out your understanding of Antisha Ginnuk. Uh, because, by God, if there's one thing you can't be getting wrong anymore, uh, it's Antisha Ginnuk. So, very simply, you have to understand inchkina asquega, gender. There is a concept around gender asquega, and it is this. If it is a masculine noun, now the fact that these are physically, in reality, masculine and feminine just happens to be convenient. The actual words... There, because of sneezing, and I, I certainly don't think. Dolum Gwilan Coron Virus Ogum, or Urm, or Enqui. The just coincidence that the word far man and woman happens to be masculine, feminine. But here's one for you in Irish, Colleen, girl, is a masculine noun. Now, the great question that comes in all the time is how do you know why came for? Well, very simply, it has to do with the ending of the word in most cases. Now, not always, but generally there's a set of endings that you can use that will help you and will help you identify what's going on. So here we go. Masculine nouns. Try to remember this now for tomorrow. It's really, really important we get this out today. 
masculine nouns, aman, the man, uh, sorry, far is aman, on far, the man. As you can see, there is nothing on the first letter, okay? Nihe vitere, it is not, uh, uh, you don't put a shevu on it. One does not need to apply lenition. The next one, ban, a woman. It's on van, the woman, you put a H on it. So basically, if you see here, for masculine, there's no change to the first letter. Feminine, there's a H applied. Moss fader, and that's important. Okay, you can't always put a H. So things like an L, N, or can't put anything on those, right? Now, I need you to do a little bit of learning for me because tomorrow we are going to need to know the following phrases. There are six cases, right? Tashechos. Right? There are six cases of the Tisha Ginnaduk. Now, a Tishel, the way to remember this, is a situation with words. That's that's what a Tishel is. And Ginnaduk is genitive, uh, which means, or comes from uh, origin. Okay? So a situation with words where there is origin or connection. Right? That's the easiest way to think of this. And there are six situations of Sgrega. The first one, is where we use what we would call revoca simply simple preposition. This is uh, revoca kohecha conjugate preposition. Here we've got two nouns together, right? Now what I'm asking you to do for me tomorrow is to actually learn these six, right? A gimmert, very simple one after a verbal noun. A gimmert pella. Okay. Uh, the next one is possession, where something belongs. What we call, I refer to as shelov. So hatan ir, and I'll just write in, that means shelov for this possession involved. And then we also have kanyot, which is quantity, right? There are six situations where Tisha Gilinuk occurs. Those are the six situations. And you need one example of each so that you can understand what we're doing tomorrow and have something that you can refer back to. So study these, no six different situations. I've given you six very simple ones. So around the house, during the week, a music book, playing football, at the man's hat, and a lot of money. And uh, I'm going to be showing you, I don't know do you use it or not, guys, right? Um, but definitely it's going to be, I'll type it in here, um, changlin.i, oh, sorry, sorry, I have the wrong spelling in there. Uh, changlin. Dot .ie, it's where all the Irish English dictionaries are. It's the most fabulous resource for the, learning the language. Um, but more, we're going to take a look at this. And uh, I can assure you, it's going to transform, right? Cleochlu omlon. We put the Gwega on it. Cleochlu omlon a vegar shul Uh It's going to be a total transformation for you. Hopefully, Sulajia. I guess, um, you know, I love teaching this stuff because I can see in people's eyes the change as it happens. They're going, aha, that's why it has a hitch or that's why it's not or, you know. So tomorrow is a huge lesson for us. So spread the word. It is a really important lesson. Uh, totally free gratis online. Remember, you can support us with uh, buying our, our premium notes or premium revision course. Courses.leavensartirish.com is in the link below. Um I'd appreciate any support that we can get because the more, more I get, the more I can do. It's as simple as that. Um, and we are here. We're going to stay here. Bio Gakla, Chofada, August is Federlum, as far as I can go, uh, as far as is necessary. Kadiga Dosoid Naskuda. You hopefully have seen the messages from the politicians yesterday in charge, the minister, August and Tishuk, you know, Tasuluko, May Naskudaha, a Gulareig, Almegan. Sometime during the summer, they're hopeful that they will run the exams. Uh, I'm talking to a lot of different people, different ideas, but there seems to be a determination that the exams will go ahead uh, for leaving cert, certainly. Hopefully, it will happen. Um, I think we need to remain focused. Um, I don't think it's a good idea. I understand the, the, the intentions that some people have regarding uh, exams and maybe looking to get them cancelled. I understand that kind of uh, that feeling but I, I don't think it's in the wider interest to be talking about that right now I really think we need to remain focused as individuals on what we need to do students teachers parents you know 
just the idea that there might not be exams is not a good thing to be thinking about. So, um, uh, inch gonna uh, buy kinta Sheila, uh, fake me there, Shen, uh, because uh, Chuck me rash, uh, cool three come on, Sheila, uh, Tom, uh, speed to math, we know, I'm sure, uh, the 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 Shen real fast, uh, buy me rash, cool, all right, um, so, so the day, fake me, she more, uh, thank you very much, I hope you've enjoyed today, uh, my tie in cash, got you the stock. Uh, Show you stock eat a uh, market to some ranga and not to some on Kata August. Uh, uh, Tasul Gumkuj with down the slaughter. Stay well, need the lava. You've all seen the old road of Ahawalia. Uh, need the lava. Stay at home. Uh, uh, wash your hands. August. Uh, Turara above everything else. Take care. Uh, Suladia Fek and Mishiv. Egg. Manle Amorak Marskanach. Every day, 12 o'clock. Baby Dancha. Slanagi. Bigama. Gurmagwith.